Frasington asked, what did the pods smell like? You know, I was actually surprised. The pods didn't smell that bad. Um, Gotta run a clean party. It was not a clean, clean party. Well, it kept, was kept clean. It was a clean shop for a month long. It was a clean party. Not true. That's um, why it didn't smell. Clean? Meaning it kept the You mean kept, kept the, the latrine, the two public Everything was clean, clean. policed and clean, and there was staff. Policed? Policed in the sense of... Please. The place was chaos embodied in so many ways. Yeah, but there wasn't trash on the floor and dirt and sludge. No, and, it was pretty... Yeah. It was It was actually, in that way, it was okay. Yeah, but well. you'd still think that just bodily, just gaseous emissions alone of 150 people in pods. Well... But yeah, you know what? You had the, no, you it had was the, the acetone. The acetone. I was just going to get the, to that. At the end there was of the, a little bit of an issue. <laughs> I was um, an error on the guy that died. <laughs> there was a guy that died. Totally under control, though. <laughs> totally under control because he came back to life, right? He was an artist. He didn't count. He's he, alive. He died for his art. That did we, that was that would have been good for business. For him and for us. Good for business. <laughs> yeah, well, he, you know, the, he, it's not like he was a civilian coming oh, in. Oh, man. Anyway, there was an acetone sculpture made with, like, how many cans? Like 20 cans of acetone. More. Whatever. It 40. Was, it was a toxic. It was dump. toxic. The artist passed out. And Josh, of course, was like, oh, well, that's fine. Those pods close to the acetone room, those will be Three Mile Island. You know? And then we'll have a pecking order. And whoever's the greatest performer, whoever does the best for the camera and contributes most to society, will get a nice pod. And whoever is just lame can go down to the acetone land. Well, you you know, and the irony of that, by the way. You were wearing your nice orange sweater that day with your little dollar bill tied to your... And that was an Owen Bush... Uh, that was good. Yes. The, oh, the God, irony that... of that, though, was that I put Mark Anchor near the toxic dump, and, of course, he just finished a, a grueling three-month chemo and radiation treatment for cancer. That's a friend. This guy. Yeah. <laughs>